WFP Executive Director Etharin Kuzin reaffirms support for schools, saying the new program is based on an independent review that was carried out this year, identifying which areas should be prioritized in order to achieve SDG 2. Details with our news team, Kamdi Bunjalan. The United Nations World Food Program, or WFP, has reaffirmed its commitment to launch a new five-year program in Laos early next year, which will work towards Sustainable Development Goal, or SDG 2, achieving food and nutrition security globally by 2030. <laughs> this in turn supports the eighth natural socio-economic development plan that aims to bring the country to Middle Income Country, or MIC, status by 2020. WFP Executive Director Etherin Kuzin said during her three-day official visit to Laos from November 28 to 30th, saying the new program is based on an independent review that was carried out this year, identifying which area should be prioritized in order to achieve SDG 2. Uh, this has been a, my first visit, but a very good visit to Laos. I've had the opportunity to meet with government officials as well as community leaders and to talk to children. And what I see is a country that is making significant progress. I see I've met with government leaders who are committed to graduating from LDC status into middle income status and a recognition by the government at every level that human development is very much a part of what is required to move this country forward. And part of human development is education. So it's been very exciting to visit several schools here. According today. to her, achieving MIC status is not just about economic growth. It's about the development of human capital. And that begins with food and nutrition security and with education. During the visit, Ms. Kuzin and her delegation traveled to rural areas of Lompobang province to visit Bakhtim Primary School in Ngoi District, where WFP works with partners to provide a package of assistance to students. <laughs> school meal programs, when coupled with other interventions such as school gardens and hygiene and sanitation initiatives and literacy programs, can present a holistic and sustainable model for development. WFP is working with the government at all levels and with communities to develop capacity, enabling them to take over school lunch programs by 2021. Well, to achieve uh, mixed status, MIC status, um, and graduating from an LDC is not just about the economic growth. It's also, it requires the development of human capital, human capacity as well, which begins with education. And uh, this is a, I've heard from everyone from the Prime Minister's office, the, the Education Minister, the Planning Minister, a commitment to supporting education. And not just education inside the cities, but in the rural areas. And WFP is working with the government to support school meals in rural areas, which help bring children to school and ensure that they stay in school to receive the education that is required so that they can develop the skills that are necessary to help this country move forward. That is what is required to achieve zero hunger, to ensure that children have not just a, a full stomach, but they have the educational capacity to feed their own children in the future. What's your favorite? Innovative nutrition programs are designed to ensure a healthy diet and sufficient nutritional intake for young children in poor and remote communities and reflect the WFP's ongoing commitment to helping the Lao government, especially our community, in its efforts to boost maternal and infant health.